So in this problem, we have f of x equals 6 over pi times x plus sine of x minus pi over 2. And they want us to find f inverse prime of 3. So the derivative of the inverse evaluated at 3. So let's remember this formula for the derivative of the inverse. So d dx of f inverse of x is going to be 1 over f prime of f inverse of x. Okay, so that's a formula to memorize. You can think about it like uh, 1 over f prime and then just plug in this inside the f prime. So if you can remember enough to write d dx of f inverse of x, then just think 1 over f prime and whatever is inside here, just plug it in there. That's one way to try to remember the formula. So you know, in the formula we've got a f prime so we need to take the derivative of f of x. So f prime of x. All right, so we've got a 6 over pi times x. The derivative of that is just 6 over pi. And then the derivative of this looks like a chain rule, right? But on the inside, x minus pi over 2, the derivative of that would just be 1. So all we really have to do is take the derivative of the outside, which is sine. So the derivative of sine is cosine and then we leave the inside the same. All right. So now, you know, they're trying to find the derivative of the inverse at a specific point. So the derivative of f inverse of x evaluated at x equals 3, that's going to be 1 over f prime of f inverse of 3. Alright, so we do not know what f inverse of 3 is, so we need to find that. So let's write f inverse of 3 is equal to k, some number, we don't know what it is yet. Let's do f to both sides. And these f's will cancel each other out. And I, I'm just going to switch the size of the equation. We're going to have f of k equals 3. All right, 3 because these f's cancel each other out. f of k, so we can plug in k to f of x. And we'll have 6 over pi times k plus sine of k minus pi over 2 equals 3. So if we can find k that makes the left-hand side equals 3, then that's what f inverse of 3 is. And in these problems, they typically set them up so that this step, this algebra step, is easy. So let's focus on this term, 6 over pi k, and let's try to make that equal to 3. What would k have to be? It'd have to be pi over 2, right? You would need this pi to cancel, and then you need 2 on the denominator, so that 6 divided by 2 is 3. All right, so we're trying k equals pi over 2. All right, we would have 6 over pi times pi over 2. And see, this actually works out perfectly, because we have sine of pi over 2 minus pi over 2. This is sine of 0, which is 0. So we'd have 3 plus 0, and that does equal 3. So what does that tell us? It tells us that f inverse of 3 equals pi over 2. Alright, so, all right, so we're trying to find the derivative of f inverse of x evaluated at x equals 3. We know that it's equal to this. 1 over f prime of f inverse of 3. All right, we just found f inverse of 3. So it's 1 over f prime of pi over 2. All right? 1 over f prime of pi over 2. Okay, so that's equal to 1 over, and then we plug in pi over 2 to f prime. So it's going to be 6 over pi plus cosine of pi over 2 
minus pi over 2. Okay, so that's 1 over 6 over pi. Cosine of 0 is 1, so it's 1 over 6 pi plus 1. That's equal to 1 over 6 over pi plus pi over pi. Okay, so that's equal to 1 over 6 plus pi over pi. So if I flip this up, that's going to be pi over 6 plus pi. And that is the answer, right? Pi over 6 plus pi.